In your digital portfolio, you have two types of pages. You can create a page which shows your major assignments, your things that you really need to highlight, things that are specifically enumerated on the grading criteria um, class rubric. Those should all be on their own page. And then also you have your blog. And your blog is what we do in class every day, and you should be documenting what we do. Um, there's two sections to that. The first section is your notes and work samples, and then the bottom section is your reflection. I think your reflection should not be summative, should not summarize what we did in class. That's what your notes do, and I'll get into that later. Um, but your blog is going to need to have screenshots. Uh, what did we do that day? And it should be fairly detailed um, and, and really more like tutorial in the sense that we want it to be useful for you. So when I look at it and I'm like, I don't know who this would be useful for, that would not be an acceptable set of notes. It should look like it is useful. Um, that you like, ah, oh, forgot how we do those keyboard shortcuts that she showed us today. That should be listed in there. Um, when we do different activities that you take screenshots of, of the particular buttons that you click on so that when you go back, you're like, I forget when I'm using GarageBand how I get back to those funny noises. Oh, right, I have to click on that little roller coaster loopy thing down in the corner. Well, a picture is worth a thousand words. So take a picture of that, uh, put the screenshot in your notes, and then don't stop there. Uh, later on, you're like, what the heck is this loopy thing? I don't even know what that means. It always makes sense at the time, but going back and looking at it, you got to be able to make sense of it two or three weeks, months later. So you would want to say, click on the little loopy thing in GarageBand to get to the sounds and in GarageBand. Like, it should have details to it. It should be doing, but it is notes. I don't expect it to be formal academic language. I don't even expect your notes to be complete sentences. Um, it's notes but it, they should be relatively complete. We do encourage you to go ahead and do collaborative notes, but we expect that you, if you're going to do collaborative notes, that you put an equal contribution. So if I go in and look at the revision history, I can see that you have added your own things of what you've done that day. You're not relying on one person in the group just to take all the notes and you post it. That would um, not be appropriate. Um, and again, your reflection would go at the bottom. Any, any work that we do on the agenda needs to be embedded in the blog. So, we, so all the Twitter stuff that we do, any Google Plus activities, anything that I ask you to do, you need to supply evidence of your work in the notes. So you took it, you know, you're there for three hours. There should be three hours worth of work there. Um, believe me, we'll keep you busy. So uh, that shouldn't be a problem.